I honestly, I honestly can't tell if this actually looks good or not. But like, that's the risk. That's the risk we have to take. As like someone of dark skin living in a predominantly light skin country. This, this is my life now. I have to take the risk. I have to dive into the dangers of K-beauty. Happy spring! <laughs> morning hi everyone what's up um, today I am it's my weekend finally can you believe it's been like three months <laughs> and um, I am going to Nagoya today with my friend we're gonna go shopping I'm gonna buy some new skincare because I ran out of all of my skincare products today actually so <laughs> I'm gonna go to Etude House and then I wanna, I don't have enough makeup anymore. I need more makeup. So <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to this uh, Korean makeup store in Nagoya. It's in Sakae. They sell like, um, they sell like 3CE and that new something that came out with like, uh, it's got like the marble design. No, they have that. They have like Tony Bali stuff. They have they have a lot of good stuff. So I'm gonna go there. But like sometimes, okay, the girls who work at the store like don't like me <laughs> for some reason. They just like they always give me like dirty looks, and they're just like, "Why are you here?" But the skincare is too good to pass up. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna buy some new skincare. Then I'm gonna go to my favorite clothing store. I bought this Vulcan and Aphrodite and I'm gonna hopefully oh sorry my room is a little messy I'm gonna I'm gonna buy some new clothes and um yeah ooh, don't look there in the background <laughs> it's really messy I was gonna make my bed before I filmed this but I was just like you, you know what never mind it's gonna take too long so Vulcan and Aphrodite at Dude House the Korean makeup store and then I'm gonna go to a pom-pom Korean cafe and then I'm gonna go to a cat cafe so that's the plan for today so hopefully I just got paid the my paycheck came in like I don't have a watch on but it came in like mm, 30 minutes ago so I got like I got like extra money this month I don't know why so well, maybe I'm just terrible at budgeting, but I'm gonna spend that extra money on clothes, I think. It was like $300. Like normally my, like I have my normal balance and then I was just like, you know, let me just take $300 out for like the next few weeks. And then I, like, it said, like, my remaining balance was, like, what I normally have. So I'm just like... <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I'm gonna go shopping. It's gonna be a fun day. I'm gonna do stuff. Oh, God. I have to, like, keep the camera close so that you can't see my messy <laughs> apartment. So, yeah, I've got a little bit of a cold, but it's okay. I did my makeup really well today. I like the way it turned out. Except for my eyebrows. I don't know. So anyway, I'm gonna head out. Um, I'm meeting my friend at 11. It's 10.49. Actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna leave till 11 because we live in the same building. So I got 10 minutes to just like watch music videos. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But anyway, I'll catch up with you guys while I'm going to Nagoya. I can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> Like, I want to look into the camera, but I just, I look really good today. <laughs> okay, anyway, so, thank you. I'll see you in a few.
I'm back. I just got back. Actually, no, it's the next day. I got back last night pretty late, so I decided I would film this the next day. So, uh, like I said before, I went on like a little shopping spree, kind of. Um, they didn't have anything that I thought they were going to have, so I just bought a bunch of different like makeup items and some clothing and stuff. So I'm just going to show you what I bought, and I'm going to do like a little makeup look. I just got out of the shower, so my, free, like, my face is really fresh and it's dry so I really need to put some products on it but first I'm gonna go over uh, all the stuff that I bought uh, I thought I would like get into the spring mood and try to do like a spring look or something I don't know I bought like a lot of like pink pink stuff kind of kind of pinky so anyway the, the cherry blossoms are out so I figured like it's springtime it's springtime we only got one day of snow this year so it feels it feels a little weird so anyway, let's get into it. So first, so I went to, for clothing, I went to my favorite store, Vulcan and Aphrodite. That's literally where I buy all of my clothes now. They sell like, I'm pretty sure all their clothes are like made in Korea. And they sell like a lot of like K-pop uh, influenced clothes. Like some of the groups that I've seen in uh in tokyo and osaka like have been wearing clothes that i've seen in vulcan and aphrodite okay so anyway let's get into it so first i bought this like mesh red top this is like it's like really stretchy it's really nice yes i love this top um i think i'm gonna try to put together like a red outfit with like some red hair clips like these but red and <laughs> And yeah, and then I bought these pair of orange socks because I have so many like orange and black clothing items like like literally right here in my closet. My favorite jacket is orange and black. But like I want to like style myself from head to toe because usually like after the pants, I'm just like whatever for shoes, whatever for socks. But everyone here has like matching socks and is I'm just like, I want to, I want to be like, I want it to be a full look, like a full look, everything I do. So I need to start buying more socks. So I decided to go with these. And since it was buy two for like a thousand yen, I got like these red ones also. And then I bought a lot of, not a lot, but I bought some jewelry. I bought two pairs of earrings. Hold up, I have to take these out of the bag so you can see them. I got these, these are pretty cute. I really wanna get like a second, a second piercing, like right here, so I can wear two pairs of earrings at once. And then the next ones, I bought these cross earrings. So like cross earrings, ugh, I love like, I've been like really into like crosses, like for earrings <laughs> and stuff like that, so yeah. I bought the cross earrings. And then last thing that I bought from that store, I bought this like thin, thin, hold up, let me take off this tag. These like tiny eyeglasses. I don't know, I think they're kind of cute. Anyway, like I'm trying to put together a look with the glasses, this, the socks, the cross earrings, and then like the hair clips. So we'll see we'll see how it comes out if it comes out open these since i bought them yesterday this is from etude house let me they always like tape your bags shut in japan i don't know why because i like to i like to like condense my bags when i'm shopping and so it's always a struggle so first thing i bought i bought these snail face sheets what are they called? Sheet masks. Snail sheet masks. So I got snail because I feel like snail like extract always like is really good for my skin. Like I did, I used that um, Benton Bee and Snail, Bee Venom Snail Extract. And like honestly that was like the first skincare item that I was like shook by. I am shooketh. So snail always like snatches my skin so. Next, I went with my usual, the Wonder Pore. This is the cleanser. So I was using this a while ago, 
uh, but then I ran out and I actually didn't have time to go back to Nagoya to buy it so I finally got this again and then I bought the Wonderpore Emulsion as well uh, this one I've been using I still actually have some of this left this is also like this it really helps my skin I don't know I don't know what to say about these products and then I bought also the Wonderpore Essence so like I thought like the Wonderpore set they had like other things but I was just like you know what I'm gonna go with my usual my usual three and then I was trying to buy the AC toner which is what I literally use in all of my videos but they didn't have it they were completely sold out I don't know if they were sold out or they're just not selling it anymore because like it wasn't even on the shelf so when I went to uh, a different Korean skincare makeup store I bought it there next thing I bought this teardrop eyeliner it's like it's really cute let me take it out of the package it's really cute and it's like pink pink and shiny but I had a teardrop eyeliner uh, back in the day I mean I still have it but it's like it's really sticky I don't know can you see this can you see it but, like the one that I got was really sticky but this one is just like it's really smooth so I don't know I thought I'd try this out so yeah that's everything that I bought from Etude House and then in the same building I, I went to this other store. I don't know. Is this the name of the store? This might be the name. I never knew the name of this store. But this one, I did more like makeup shopping. So I got this Wonder Ceramide Mochi Toner. I don't know. It's Tony Molly. It, it smelled really good. And like I tried it on my hand and it felt really good. So this is what I'm going to be using for now. I think it's made with like rice or something I don't know but I'm gonna try it out so yeah there's that and then the makeup items that I bought I bought this who lip tone by Tony Molly is in the color trench coral number two actually it's coral blue number two. I tried it it looked pretty it looked all good on the back of my hand I did not try it on my lips so we're gonna see if this works. It looks like the package looks really orange, but I could have sworn I bought like pink stuff. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> and then I bought this. This is Heart on the Cheek, and it's in the color Beep Beep. Beep Beep, 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 beep Orange One. So we'll, we'll try, it looked good on the back of my hand. I don't know. <laughs> And then I bought this eyeshadow palette. This is Vavi Mello. So some of the colors looked like really gorgeous and they look like exactly what I want for this makeup look. So like they're all, they're like really pink and glittery and very pretty. So we'll see, we'll see how this look turns out. I've been like obsessed with glittery eyeshadow lately. Oh, this is like magnetic, girl. Okay, let me let me throw these boxes somewhere else. <laughs> and then um, I bought a few more contact lenses. So I always wear like I always try to wear like green, brown, and like um, gray. Or sorry, I always try to wear like green and gray uh, contact lenses, but today I decided to get a few pairs of brown lenses. So these contact lenses from Luna, they're one day lenses, and I tried these for another video that uh, is probably going to come up after this one. And so I just really, they were so comfortable, like I could not even feel them in my eyes. And yesterday, I wore my pair all day. I had no issues except for like them getting like a little dry towards the end of the day. But these are really like strong contact lenses. So I think I'm gonna wear a pair of brown lenses for this look. I, I don't know what this color is, the brown one. And then this one is like almond, so it's like a light brown and like a dark brown. So I want to wear the dark brown lens because I just want like that circle lens, like bigger, bigger eye look, but without <clears throat> changing the color 
of my natural eyes. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, I have a cold and I'm dying. So that is everything for what I bought. So now let's get into the look. So first, obviously, um, as usual, my hands are super dry, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna open this hand cream and use it. So I'm not like editing this back, like saying, why do my hands look so ashy? Which I literally do in every single video. Ah, oh, it smells so good. It smells like, it just smells like clean, like soap. Ah, oh, it smells, it smells like something from my childhood. Like I just had like a flashback to being in my grandma's house. Oh, it smells so good, okay. So next, I'm actually, I'm not gonna do the snail mask this time, but maybe next time I'll do the snail mask because honestly, my skin is okay right now. So I'm just gonna like jump straight into toner. I'm gonna use this, oh God, <laughs> why? Oh, thank God, thank God. I was like, I really just put on hand lotion. Why did I do that? Jesus. I can't, uh, I can't smell it. I can only smell the hand lotion. It has like, it has, it has a decent smell. It doesn't smell bad. So I'm just gonna like slap this on. Ooh, girl, she's milky. She's, it's a little thick. Like it's definitely not the consistency of water. Anyway, I'm just gonna pat this onto my skin. I'm gonna do maybe three layers of this. I know a lot of people do the like seven layers of toner but honestly I ain't got the money <laughs> for that so I'm just gonna do three layers like already my skin feels so much better than it did like two seconds ago okay so I'm gonna open and use these so usually I use these two products like right before bed but I'm gonna use them now under my makeup so I don't know I don't know if you're supposed to do that but that's what I'm gonna do so this is what the emulsion looks like out of the box. I'm pretty sure I've showed this on my channel before, but anyway, I'm gonna use like two pumps. Sometimes I use three. And then just like pat it onto your skin, same thing that you do with the toner. Oh, this one smells, this one smells really good. And then this one as well. Here is the essence. This one is a lot smaller, so I run out of this one a lot quicker than I run out of the other one. Oh, okay, okay. That, ah! <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. One, one pump is good. Oh, that's, it feels so like nice, and, like smooth and like. All right, I'm back, the contacts are in. Uh, this one, I got something under the lens, so it was like really irritating. This one is perfectly fine. I can't even feel it. But yeah, they're in. I think they look pretty nice. They look kind of natural. They're a little bit red. Like, mm, I feel like one of the, the, the bad vampires from Twilight. Uh, so anyway, let's get into the makeup now. So I'm going to start with my regular makeup routine. So I'm going to be using NARS radiant creamy concealer this is what i've always been using and i'm so close to running out but my mom sent me a package with my new concealer and it should get here today okay i'm still i'm gonna try to use a different puff honestly just because my old puff is like really busted i just i don't like the way this puff blends like, I feel like it absorbs 90% of the product. This is VT, and this one is like, it's not like silicone-y. I have this other one. This is the better one, but it's like, it's really busted. So, like, don't, don't judge me. So, you're busted. You're busted. You're busted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, then moving on to foundation, I'm of course using Fenty Beauty. My shade is 410. 
All right, that's pretty solid foundation. So next I'm gonna move on to contour. Once again, I'm using Fenty Beauty. This is their matchstick in truffle. So I'm gonna use this to contour my nose, but then I'm gonna use something else for the rest of my face. I'm gonna use, oh God, this is kinda busted. Kinda busted. This is busted because I bought it a really long time ago. But this is the Smashbox Studio Shaping Foundation Stick. So it comes with foundation on one side, which I've used pretty much all of. And then it comes with the contour on the other side. So I'm gonna use the contour, it's really dark on me. Like this used to be my regular foundation stick, but it's like, it's like the consistency of paint. So it like, my skin was so oily and it was just, uh, it was not good. But I'm gonna use this to contour. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend. <clears throat> and this is where I use the blender that absorbs 90% of the product. <laughs> All right, so before I set this, I'm gonna start using this because this is like, it's like a cream. So I don't want to put it on top of my powder, so we're going to try, ooh, ooh, that's interesting. It's like, see like that's, it's got like weird, like the edges stick out, which is like weird right now. Okay, I guess this is going to be an orange look and not a pink look, I'm sorry. I bought orange products. Anyway, I'm just gonna like, should I just like stamp? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Cause like, the edges like stick out too much. So I guess I'm just gonna have to like, smack this onto my face. But that's like, that's like a pretty color. Like, honestly, I'm not mad about that. I'm really not mad. That's really cute. Honestly, I like it. I'm gonna blend it like with my same puff. This is probably a mistake, but we'll see. Honestly, it looks really cute. I'm just like, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I like it, but it makes my face like super shiny. So I'm gonna set now. I'm gonna set with my, oh God, with my uh, e.l.f. Uh, poreless, perfect, no. Perfect finish HD powder. There's nothing poreless about it, so. Um, I dropped this the other day, so like it's a little, it's a little busted, <laughs> busted, <laughs> it's busted, and then I keep my favorite eyeshadow on the inside because it like came out, but when I dropped it, the eyeshadow completely shattered, so that's really busted too. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep that in there until I figure out how to fix it or just throw it away. So anyway, I'm just gonna set my face now with this. I honestly, I honestly can't tell if this actually looks good or not. But like, that's the risk. That's the risk we have to take. As like someone of dark skin living in a predominantly light skin country. This, this is my life now. I have to take the risk. I have to dive into the dangers of K-beauty. Okay, so I'm gonna look, I'm gonna take take a look into this eyeshadow palette now. So the blush is kind of orange, so the eyeshadow is kind of pink. Um, goodbye. There's this one color, which this is the color that I really wanna use. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna go in. And ooh, that's pink, that's very pink. I'm just gonna go in and it's gonna work out because I know it is. Oh, wait a second. Like it looks on my brush. It looks like it's like neon pink, like hot pink. But on my skin, it does have like a little orangey glow. Actually, you know, it, it looks pink on my skin. Let me just, <laughs> let me just be real. But it's like, it's really pretty. Like this is the color that I wanted it to be. When I was envisioning this look, I was like, I want this. This is the look that I want. 
It's like, it's got like big chunks of glitter, which is like exactly what I was looking for. Cause I wanna do, I wanted to do like a super like glittery, pretty look. So, you know, I'm living for this. I like it. I do, I honestly, I like it. I wanna take this guy right here, this like gold, and then I wanna pop that into the corners of my... Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, come through. Please. Oh my god. This is a beautiful color. This eyeshadow is beautiful. I'm just gonna put this in the center of my lid as well. I like it. Honestly, I like it. I really do. So I'm gonna take the original, the original busted palette, Delancey. And then let's see. This is the palette that I usually use for my like daily makeup. Um, this guy, this guy right here. He's the one that I use. I'm gonna use that for my nose highlight. I'm gonna highlight my nose and then Cupid's bow, chin, and maybe a little bit of my problem. So nose. Wow, it's so like. It's so shiny and so like glittery and beautiful. I'm actually, I'm really happy with the way the eyeshadow turned out. Honestly, I've been burned before by K-Beauty. So I'm gonna brush my brows down towards my ears and then this guy, Vissier, Vissier Color Impact Liquid Liner. I use this to draw the shape of my eyebrows. This I'm running out of. I need to buy more of. Super low on this. Sometimes if you like bang it really hard, <laughs> you can get more product out of it. All right, we're done with the eyebrows. They look all right. Is my camera like slowly moving? I can't tell. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go in with my regular eyeliner before. This is the Miziel ID Liquid Eyeliner. This time I'm gonna try to draw this line as thin as I can possibly draw it and then just do like a little tiny tail. I guess that one is perfect. So it's like barely wearing eyeliner. All right, we'll take it. Oh, okay, so my camera started overheating and then it's never done that before. And then my package came. And then my battery is dying, so I gotta finish this makeup look. So anyway, we're on the last step. Where did I just, oh, it's on my bed. My lipstick, Trench Coral, we're gonna try it. I think this is like, it's a tint, but it's like a thicker tint. Oh God, this color looks a bit light. Oh God. What the fuck is that? So it's not trench coral today. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna try something else. Um, so I'm gonna do this 16 finger pen. And I'm gonna mix this. Okay, yes. I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of this Vivid Matte. Then I'm gonna mix this with the 16, which I'm pretty sure is what I did in my other video too, oh God. So just like, it's like the tiniest bit of that. I'm gonna mix it with the 16. And then maybe, you know what, maybe Coral can have her day. I can just add a little tiny bit of this. Cause it's got like an orangey brown tone to it, which I really like, honestly. This smells really good too. It's finally spring. Oh God. Now that I have finally done my spring makeup tutorial, we can all start celebrating spring. So.
Happy spring. <laughs> this is the finished look. Happy spring. Oh wait, let me put these earrings on. The new earrings that I bought. Be these? Yeah. Happy spring. <laughs> uh. Anyway. I really like this look, honestly. I think it looks pretty good. It's springtime, finally. I wanna go shopping. I just went shopping yesterday, but I wanna buy more stuff. I wanna go to Osaka. If I go to Osaka, like, what's in Osaka? There's Amerikamura, which, like, has, like, really good clothing stores. And then there's Koreatown. Those are literally the only two things that I do in Osaka. But there's, there's Koreatown, which has Korean skincare. And then I could buy more makeup. I'm just, honestly, I'm waiting for my next Tokyo trip, which is going to be next week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the line store because apparently there's only one line store in Japan and I'm gonna buy uh, hopefully a Mang plushie and oh Jesus, that was my phone. A Mang plushie and a Sally plushie because I really love Sally. So anyway, yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this weird Korean uh, makeup challenge tutorial thing. I don't know. It turned out better than my, my 390 yen makeup. That's for sure. So yeah, maybe I'll be doing this again. This was actually really fun. I really enjoyed these products. So we'll see. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Bye. That was awkward. Bye.